Paradise Resorts, we offer the best holiday destinations this side of the galaxy. Our retreats offer the finest vistas, luxurious accommodation, and the most secure environment you could hope for. It's completely safe. In need of a relax? Well, we've got you covered. We'll provide you with the ultimate leisure experience, giving you full access to our spas, pools, beach pods, and rejuvenation chambers. Feel like a bite to eat? Then why not try one of our anti-gravity restaurants? We're easy to find. Just access our planet server via one of our special polyportable landing bays. It's all here at our Paradise Resorts. Fun, excitement, tranquility. Mayday. Mayday. This is an urgent message to anyone who's out there. The resort is under attack. It started with just disappearances, but, but now... It's this madman. He's taking people, and he's killing anyone who gets in his way. So please, if there's anyone out there, we need urgent assistance. If we want any chance of escaping, then... No. No! No, stay back! You... Ah! No! Self in, Gentel. This is the rather tricky bit. Doctor, you still have not explained what you're doing. Give me a minute, we're arriving any second. Hold on. Well, I must say, I didn't expect a landing as rough as that. Sorry, Gentel, you were saying. What exactly were you doing? Ah, yes. Well, it recently occurred to me that there's actually a very simple way of tracking my friend Nell that'll save us the bother of hopping from planet to planet. Which is? Artron energy. Artron energy? Precisely. You see, when a person travels through time long enough, residual Artron energy begins to bond with their DNA at a cellular level, which, luckily for us, makes it possible to track a specific person through time. That is, if you've got their body scan stored in the TARDIS databank, at least. Which, fortunately for Nell, I do. You see, the TARDIS used to be linked to the Matrix back on Gallifrey, but after I shall we say, cut loose from it, I've had to update the TARDIS databanks manually ever since. Lucky I did, eh? But why disconnect the TARDIS from the Matrix? Surely it would have been much easier to have retained the link. Well, let's just say I didn't want certain people knowing where I am, or where I was, or where I will be, come to think of it. But, like I said, that's not a problem. I updated the databanks a few months back, so thankfully, Nell's body scan is still on the system. So you traced her signal using the TARDIS. And followed the Artron energy signature through the vortex, yes. I must say, I commend your ingenuity, Doctor. Thank you, Gentel. Nice to have someone around who appreciates it. Things like that usually go over people's heads. Now, shall we see where we've landed? Oh, I do like to be beside the seaside. Smell that artificially constructed air. Artificial? Of course. Throw a bit of sand at that palm tree over there. Go on. 
It went straight through it. Holograms, I presume. The trees, the tide, the sky, all a holographic construction inside a pod, giving an exact impression of a beach. We're actually several miles below the planet's surface right now, believe it or not. But what's its purpose? Pleasure, fun, delight. A holiday destination known as Paradise Resorts. They've got about 30 of these pods at each resort. Huge business. Already with about a thousand of these places scattered across the galaxy. An incredibly popular tourist spot. You wouldn't believe the length of the waiting list. And your friend is here, I take it. Well, the signal's definitely coming from the resort, but there was some sort of interference that disrupted the TARDIS scanners. That certainly explains the turbulent landing. Well, quite. Whatever it was, it meant I couldn't pinpoint her signal exactly, so we'll have to just do the rest on foot. You can't see an exit anywhere, can you, Gentle? There's some motion pixelation over there. A distortion in the simulation. Perhaps covering up a door of some kind. Ah, that'll be it. The Sonic should be enough to get it open. After you. Partially converted Cybermen first. Something's wrong. Something is very not good indeed. The place is deserted. It should be packed. It should be full of people. Where is everyone? We better take a look around. See if you can integrate yourself into the security system, Gento. We can check if there's been a breach or an attack of some kind. Of course. Oh, log into the free Wi-Fi. That way there shouldn't be any connection issues when you access the protocols. That poster over there has got the password on it. Wi-Fi? Yes, Wi-Fi. It's a vital human resource, up there with daylight, food, and running water. Some find it impossible to live without, particularly the young ones. Without it, no one will be able to access Twitter. And then where would we be, eh? Twitter? Yes, you see, it's... You know what? We'll save that for another day, Gento. Now, let's see. Heads or tails? Hardly a logical way of deciding which way to go first, Doctor. Just pick one. Heads. Tails, I win. This way. Uh, actually, change my mind. Never turn right first. Always head left. Come on. Doctor, I don't wish to cause you alarm, but my senses are picking up a smell of some kind. As if something is burning. Yes, you're right. Almost like hot iron. And there's only two things that smell like that. Either burning metal or large quantities of blood. And I know which I prefer it to be. I can confirm that there are currently no fire alerts on the security system, Doctor. Oh, Gento, why did you have to say that? That means it's probably... You know... Sometimes I just hate it when I'm right. Bodies. A lot of them. 23, to be precise. Yes, thank you, Gentel. Let's leave the numbers out of it for now. I'm going to see if I can work out the cause of death. Any luck with the security system? It would seem that the facility is currently in lockdown, and has been for six days. I'll try to find out more. Thankfully, the system is being very cooperative. Cooperative, eh? That doesn't seem right. Them systems are usually as stubborn as anything. Ah. Massive physical trauma. He's been shot. Guessing it's the same for the rest, but it's worth checking. Ooh, now that's interesting. What is it, Doctor? The bullets. All the people that have been shot were killed by the same type of gun. An FNP-90 defense weapon. The exact one next to that security guard over there. It was the security staff who shot them. But then they've been shot themselves. Why does none of this make sense? Doctor, my systems are detecting another link between all the deceased. Oh yes? They all have a medical condition of some kind. What an illness. All of them? It would seem so. No illness that would cause fatalities or a spread of disease, and no link in the type of condition, but a link nonetheless. Everything we find out just seems to make less and less sense. 
All we've got is more questions, and I was hoping for answers. Then we should find some. Quite right. What do you suggest, then? Well, the link in medical cases seems like something worth following up on. The medical base should be a good place to start, see if we can check the records. The system has already provided me with a download of the resort schematics. I can take us there. It isn't far. Good. Let's go. You know, the longer we're here, the more I get the distinct feeling we're wandering into a trap. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Doctor. How nice of you to come out and play. <laughs> Sure, we're in the right place, Gentel. Yes, Doctor. The schematics definitely registered this as the medical bay. Oh, it's more like a slaughterhouse. There's blood everywhere. Every shiny metallic surface just dripping with it. So much for hygiene in the workplace. Just look at these tools. They're more like a butcher's than a practitioner's. And there's that stench. It's all too familiar. You know, I've seen a lot in my life, Gentile, but this... This just reminds me of how grim the universe can be. Oh, help! Please. Please. Survivor! Ah. Hello there! I'm the Doctor. Now, what seems to be the problem? I'd have thought that was fairly obvious. Yes. But just how did you come to lose your leg? Oh, long story. Ah! Quick, Gentile, hand me those bandages and see if you can find some local anaesthetic. Lidocaine hydrochloride should do it. Yes, Doctor. Right, I'm not going to lie. This is going to hurt. Quite a bit. Thank you, Gentile. Now, I'm going to inject this. It should numb the pain. Try to hold still. Wait, wait what about the bandages? Yeah. Well, they were just for you to bite down on, if you like. Here you go. Ready? <laughs> there. You shouldn't feel as potent now. <sighs> Thank you. Looking better already. Uh, sorry, what's your name? A Astos. Nice to meet you, Astos. Now, I know this is going to be difficult, but I need to know what's been going on here. Who did this to you? It, it was uh, a, a man. He, he took my leg. Why, Astos? Do you know why? Uh, some, something about an infection. So, that's what he said. He, he was doing it to everyone. It, it was a massacre. Astos? Astos, stay with me. Come on. No, no, nothing we could do. We could who do. Who was he? What was the man's name, Astos? His name. Yes, yes, his name. What was it? Astos, tell me. His his name. He 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 was. Life signs deceased, Doctor. <sighs> Still more and more questions. Might I provide some of the answers? You. Of course, who else? Now I know why that smell was so familiar. Still putrefying away, are you? You know, I never thought he'd ever die, that one. I was getting so bored, waiting behind the curtain for him to announce my presence. And yet the silly fool couldn't even get that right. My scan's detecting two hearts and a binary vascular system. This man is not human. Oh, far from it, Gentel. Meet the most evil and despicable creature you will ever encounter. The Master. Oh, you flatter me, Doctor. I haven't got time for your games, Master. I want to know what's going on here. Right now. You haven't worked it all out for yourself. Oh, Doctor, this is most unlike you. Humor me. Go on, I'm sure you'd love to wax lyrical about your scheme as per usual. The massacre that happened out there. What was it all for, hmm? 
All those people were here to relax and replenish themselves. What made you come and spoil it all? Well, like you say, Doctor, they've come here to relax and replenish. Why should I be exempt from that? It just so happens that my idea of replenishment is somewhat different to theirs. You see, I'm using the lives of all those people out there on the resort in order to rejuvenate myself. Restore my body. With enough life force from people, I'll be able to provide myself with another regeneration or two. The deaths are merely collateral damage. I could only use the fit and healthy ones to restore myself. So that's why all the bodies of the people we found had medical conditions. Their illnesses meant they were of no value to you. Precisely. So of course they had to be killed. Couldn't have them getting away. A lot of extra work, I grant you, but I can't deny that it was ever so slightly thrilling. <laughs> well, you've certainly surpassed yourself this time, Master. Not only is this the most sick and twisted of all your plans, it's also the most ridiculous. You can't just turn people's life force into regeneration energy, that's not how it works. You'd need masses of Archon energy to do it, and the only way you'd get that amount is through a TARDIS or a Time Traveller. And I doubt you'd be so keen as to volunteer yourself or your TARDIS, because whatever you use as a converter will be destroyed in the process. Very good, Doctor. Your brain is beginning to work. Shut up. That's why you've lured me here, isn't it? So you can use me, or my TARDIS, or Gentel even, as the disposable converter. Oh, you were so very close to getting it right. I was almost going to congratulate you. Oh, don't play the fool now, Master. It doesn't suit you. Alas, you're wrong, Doctor. I did not lure you here. Your appearance here is a minor irritation, one that I hope soon to rectify. But... but if you didn't bring us here, then... Of course... Doctor, the Archon signal in the TARDIS. Exactly. Gento, get ready to run on my signal. Signal? It'll be fairly obvious, don't worry. This really is pointless, Doctor. Excuse me, Master? Yes? Ha! <coughs> oh, I've wanted to do that for centuries. And I'll be having this. No more TCE for you. Come on, Gento. Where are we going, Doctor? Well, that all depends on you, Gento. You see, I think I know what's going on. You said the systems were being incredibly cooperative, yes? Incredibly helpful, yes? Yes. And it gave you the schematics of the resort. Yes, but I don't see what this... No time for that right now. Just listen. Look at the schematic you've downloaded. Is there any part of it that's particularly clear? Any part of it that you instinctively look at? Yes. Yes, there is. Then that's where we need to go. Affirmative. I've calculated the direct route. Excellent. Now wait here. Doctor? I won't be a second. I just need to grab something from the TARDIS. And what's that exactly? Five minutes. Just five minutes and I'll be back. I knew it. The resort's main systems. And look, there's someone linked into it all. And wake her up. Caution is advised, Doctor. Don't worry. I'll be careful. There's a Gallifreyan mind trick I picked up back when I was about 80 years old. It should be just enough to trip the synapses in her brain and make her conscious. <sighs> Nell. Nell, are you all right? Yeah. Yeah, I'm fine. How'd I do? Top marks. Well done, you. I still don't understand, Doctor. Who's your friend? Oh, Gento, he's a Cyberman, I'll explain later. Doctor? It was her, Gentel. The Master may have planned to use Nell as his converter, but he certainly didn't bargain on what she could do once she'd been wired in. She took control of the whole facility. That's why the system was so helpful. It was her. The schematic, Gentel, remember? It had that section you instinctively looked at. That was Nell, trying to show us the way to her. And not only that, she used this whole facility as a beacon to broadcast her Archon energy signature out to us. Perfect for the TARDIS to lock on when I started looking. I knew you would be. I just knew. But you shouldn't have needed to. This shouldn't have happened. What the Master's done to you, it's... It's obscene. You found me, though. 
You're here, aren't you? That's beside the point now. Doctor, don't get angry. Angry? I am more than angry. I am furious. He can't get away with this. I've had it. I've let him go one too many times. Doctor, take it easy. No, it's time the master paid for what he's done now. This is the final straw. Let's make a start by getting you out of that system. Gento, give this thing a scan so you can work out how we can get her out of here safely. No, Doctor, wait. Step away from her, Doctor. Oh, woken up, have we? Enjoyed your little nap? Can't say it did much for you in terms of beauty sleep. Step away from the girl, Doctor. Not until I've got her out of this thing. You can count on that. I'm afraid it really isn't that simple, Doctor. Enough with the tricks, Master. But he's right, Doctor. What? You can't get me out of this thing. Look, I'm sorry, but it's true. Believe me, there's just no way. My scan confirms it, Doctor. If we try to remove her from the system in any way, she will die. This... This isn't possible, I... <laughs> Powerless. All you can do is stand there and watch. Well, now, we've got a captive audience. Now's as good a time as any. Let us begin. The harvest commences. No. <laughs> no? Oh, you really are thick, aren't you? Did you not hear what the doctor said? I have complete control over the system. I can use it for whatever I want. No. All those hostages, all the ones you've locked up ready to harvest, I can set them free. Guide them through the facility to the escape pods. But I jettisoned them days ago, you stupid girl. The system confirmed it. I am the system. It told you exactly what I wanted it to. All the escape pods are still there, ready to launch. No, this is impossible. I am the master. You will obey me. He appears to be unconscious. Again. Yeah, that's what I was aiming for. Mel, you can't do this. You jettison those escape pods and you'll use up the last of your life force. It will kill you. Yeah, I figured that. I guess that's the way it's gotta be. Look, the hostages should be at the escape pods by now. I haven't got long. Look, there's one simple thing we can do to fix this, to make it right. Which is? I take your place. Let me release the hostages. I'm a Time Lord. My biology will allow me to jettison those pods, and I'll barely be left with a scratch. You know that. Good idea, Doctor. Amazing, in fact. Only problem is, I'd have to be taken out for you to get in. So why bring me here? What is this, Nell, huh? What is this? This. This is goodbye. I, I can't. I stay in the system, my body gets drained. I get out of the system, my head gets fried. Either way, I die. Might as well do it heroically, right? This is wrong. It's my fault. No. Don't you dare go thinking that. Don't you ever dare. Not even for a second. Don't you walk away from this thinking any of it is on you, Doctor. Please, just remember that. Do that for me, at least. This is not your fault. I... I wish there was something I could do. So do I. But we both know there isn't, don't we? She's right, Doctor. I've examined every possible outcome. There is nothing to be done. You were brilliant. <laughs> you know that? Absolutely brilliant. Yeah, I think I was. You'll remember me, won't you? Always. Thank you. Here goes nothing. Goodbye, Doctor. Three, two, one. Sorry. You didn't deserve this. 
And I'll make it right. That's a promise. <sighs> Dead is she. Run. Get out of here now. And don't look back. Very well. Doctor? It's hell. What is? The feeling when you have to just stand there and watch. Knowing there's nothing you can do. Knowing you're powerless. I can do anything except when it matters the most. I can never save them. Goodbye. Come on, Gentile. Back to the TARDIS. In you go. What about you? I need to go and talk with the Master. The Master? But he's long gone, surely? I shouldn't think so. You see, when I said I had to go and get something from the TARDIS, I actually meant his TARDIS. And what was it you went to retrieve? This. The dematerialization circuit. I take it that's important to him. You could say that. Without it, he can't leave. But you told him to run. Call it a head start. A glimmer of hope. Now it's my turn to take it away. Open! Blasted thing! I am your master! I command you to open! Master! <laughs> Firstly, I'd like to thank you for turning round. I'd never shoot an unarmed man in the back. And in your case, that's now doubly true. Second, you can consider that my opening negotiating position. And thirdly, that's one in the leg for Astos. I'm guessing this is your doing, then. I deadlocked your TARDIS. I wanted to make sure I could say goodbye. Unlocked. Although, you still aren't going anywhere without this. Catch. I appreciate you've been through a lot, my dear Doctor. But I don't think you've quite got the hang of negotiation. I also took the liberty of removing this from your TARDIS. Your navigational circuit. Such a delicate component. Oh dear. How clumsy of me. I guess you'll just have to make do with a randomizer from now on. <laughs> Surely it would have been more poignant to crush my DMAT circuit. No. Because I want you to leave. I don't want to see your ugly mug ever again. But... That being said, I'm done standing idly by while you cause so much devastation taking my friend from me. I'm afraid I can't let that slide. Well, if shooting me in the leg and destroying parts of my TARDIS is the worst you have to offer, I'll take it. Oh, but that's just it, my old friend. I'm not the Time Lord you used to know. I have spent so very long dealing with what happened. What we did all that time ago, back on Gallifrey. And seeing you again after so long, it's made me realize that as long as you exist, you're always going to be hunting me down for what I did. You know, it really is dangerous to leave so many guns lying around like this. Go on then. Do it. Kill me. After all, what's the blood of one more life on the hands of Gallifrey's most infamous murderer? Doing this goes against everything I swore my life would be after that day. I made it my duty to make every one of my lives count, and every action I take to be for the greater good. I mean, look at you. You're dying anyway rotting from the inside out. You can call me a murderer all you like, but this, this is a mercy killing. <laughs> <laughs>
And yet, you still hesitate. Because as much as I'm loath to admit it, as you told me recently, we're more alike than I care to admit. But there's a big difference between alike and being the same. And we are most certainly not the same. Unlike you, killing isn't my second nature. I believe in redemption. But I'm running out of alternatives with you. So, now you know my opening negotiating position. It's your turn. Convince me. Give me one good reason why you still deserve to live. And this the wonderful opportunity of seeing you break your moral code? <laughs> Not a chance. This is your struggle, Doctor. I've died before, and I'll die again, and I'll always come back. You've used up all your lives, Master. The only way you're coming back this time is by taking lives, and I'm not letting that happen. Not anymore. So where does that leave us, old friend? Do you remember those days at the Academy? Scarving off Barusa's lessons to play chess in the Panopticon Undercross. <laughs> and you never won a single game. Consider this checkmate. Doctor, is everything okay? What happened with the Master? Doctor? So, where are we off to now, then? Anywhere but here. This place stinks of death and corpses. Your friend was very courageous, Doctor. I wish I had known her sooner. The colonists used to pray for safe passage for their dead. I don't know if I was ever a religious person, but I will pray for your friend, Doctor. You do that. I'll be in the library if you need me. And I will pray for you, Doctor. You are headed down a dark valley, and you need safe passage more than any other. <laughs> Always so full of surprises, Doctor. Only you would find a way to have your cake and eat it. You willingly gave up life of your own so that I might live, and then you shoot me anyway. Is that the redemption you think I deserve? Still, if you think I now owe you a debt of gratitude, you are sorely mistaken! <laughs> Ha <laughs> <laughs>